Okay guys, so now that we are able to register our users, make our users login. So now in this video, let's see three things. That is firstly, how to conditionally show the navbar items here. That is if the user is logged in, then we should not be seeing this register and login tab here. And if the user is uh, logged out, then we won't be seeing this logout button, this manage users thing. And this is for administrator purposes. So just ignore this thing for now. And then we should not also see this profile thing here. We should only be seeing home, register and login buttons here when the user is logged out. And secondly, we'll be seeing the authorization of the routes. That is if the user is not logged in, then he should not be able to go to the profile route and vice versa. And thirdly, we'll be seeing that how do we persist our sessions? Because currently we are using the default memory store, which means that as soon as our server reboots, the session is gone and we are again logged out from our application. So we'll see that how do we persist that using MongoDB. So now let's work upon the first thing that is how to conditionally show these uh, tabs here. So for that, let's go to our application and here what we'll do, we'll open this row, uh, this page here that is navbar.egs template here. So let's open our navbar.egs template here and here we are directly showing the list elements that is these routes here or these anchor tags, but we want to conditionally show them. So to do that, what we need to do, we need to write an if statement and we can use the EJS if. So EJSF, that is if certain condition is true, then only we want to show certain routes. So if there is a user, that is if user, then what do we want to see? We want to see the profiles. So let me copy this thing from here. We want to see the profile page like this. And then what else do we want to see? We want to see this logout button here. So let me paste it here itself again, like this. Otherwise, we need to write an else statement, so else. What we can do, let me complete this else thing from here like this. Otherwise, what we need to show the, to the user, we need to show to the user these two routes that is register and login. So let me control X and control V here. And now let me save this. And for this manage users route, let, uh, let's put it inside put it inside here. That is if there is a user, then we'll, we are going to show this route. But it takes a couple of more steps to show this route only if the user is in an admin, but for now let's keep it inside this route here or in this if block here, that is if there is a user, then we want to show this route. So now if we go to our application here, we see that nothing has been changed and we are lost in a space. And why is it so? Because there is no user rendered inside this template here. That is the home template. Or if we go to the home template, that is index.ejs, there is no user here. That is, there is no user passed here. So how do we do that? So for that, let's simply go to our app.js file. And here after initializing this passport thing, that is for passport.js authentication. After we do each and everything of passport, what we can do, we can write a middleware here. So app.use. And here it would take in three parameters. That is the request, the response and next uh, like this. And this should be in uh, this thing here. And now we can say response dot locals dot user equal to request dot user. Because after the passport validation is complete, then we know that the request dot user contains a user object. And therefore we are putting that inside the response.locals.user thing so that it can be directly used inside any of our template. And finally, what we can do, we can simply call on next like this. So now if we save this application and now if we go to our application here and if we re refresh the page, now we see that we are only seeing these three buttons here. That is home, register and login. So now let's try to login someone. So John Doe john do at gmail.com password one two and we see now we are seeing only these tabs here that is the home profile and logout and we are not seeing those tabs here that is the register tab or the login tab here and just ignore this manage users for now and now there is a catch here that is even though we are not seeing those uh, tabs here that is the register uh, register tab and the login tab but we still can go to those routes so if we type here that is auth forward slash login because that is the route for our login page. So if we click here, we see that we are taken to the login page, even though we should not be seeing this page. And similarly, if we log out here 
and if we go to the profile page that is forward slash user forward slash profile we see that we are able to go to the profile page though we are seeing this error here but we are able to go to this profile page so how do we protect these routes that is how do we authorize these routes depending on the status of the authentication of the user so for that let's go to our application here and here what i'll do i'll write a middleware at the very bottom so let's go to the very bottom uh, like let's write it here because eventually we'll be changing this thing here because we won't be using this thing right away and we'll be using a package for this but for now if you simply want to protect your routes what we can do we can write a middleware like function let's create a function here that is ensure authenticated so ensure authenticated that is if the if the user is authenticated so request dot response comma next like this so this is a middleware which we are going to use and here we'll check if request that is the incoming request is authenticated and this thing that is is authenticated is attached by passport library so therefore we know that if the request is authenticated then this should be true so here what we can do we can simply say next like this otherwise what we need to do we need to take him back to the login page so we can say rest dot redirect and here we are taking him back to the forward slash auth forward slash login page so now let's save this and now let's use this middleware somewhere so let's copy this uh, route uh, this middleware that is ensure authenticated and here where we have created our routes we only want to go to the user routes that is if we open the user route we have this profile route here we only want to go to this uh, this route file uh, that uh, this route file which contains multiple routes about the user and currently we only have the forward profile route here so what we can do we can use a middleware here that says ensure authenticated and then we can require this file here so now let's save this file and now let's go to our application here and now let's try to log into our application so let's log in and if we do login so john do at uh, gmail.com and password one two so if you want, want to go to the profile page we see that we are on the profile page so now let's try to log out the user so let me copy, copy the route here and now let me log out the user and now if we try to go to the uh, profile page by putting it in the address here that is forward slash user forward slash profile then we see that we are redirected back to the login page so this is how we protect our routes and similarly if you want to protect the register and login routes if he's uh, not if he's logged in so if we log in again so john do at gmail.com password one two and we see that we are inside the profile page now and if we go to the uh, auth route here that is the auth forward slash login we are still able to go to that route so let's see that how do we protect it so let's go back to our application and here instead of doing it here like this that is creating a, a function some uh, creating a function something like this here inside the app.js file what i would like to do i would like to go to our authroute.js file because here is a here are two kinds of route that is the login routes the register routes and the logout route also so therefore we cannot write a common function for both of these inside our app.js file but here what we'll do here we can simply copy that function that is this function that is ensure authenticated and let me paste it here at the very bottom here and here i'll create one more file uh, one more function and that is what we call let me copy and paste it here and this function should be called ensure not authenticated so here if the request is authenticated then we want to simply redirect him back to the page where he was so rest dot redirect and here we can simply say back like this otherwise what we can do we can call in next like this and now we need to use these two middlewares that is ensure authenticated and ensure not authenticated in each of the routes here depending on the uh, user so here if he tries to request the login form then he should not be authenticated so we can say ensure not authenticated and then the final function here so let me copy this function from here and similarly for the post thing here we can again paste it here and similarly for the register we want to show only this route or this route accessible only if it is not authenticated and similarly for the post request for the register route 
And now inside this route here, that is the logout route, we want to make sure that the user is authenticated. So we can put a middleware like this here. So now let's save this. And now if we go to our application, so now currently let's refresh this. So now we see that we only see this register login page here. And if we go to user forward slash profile, then we are related back to the login page. And now if we log in here, so uh, let me write here that is John Doe at gmail.com password one two. We see that we are on the user profile page. And if we click on log out, we are able to log out the user. So let me log in again. So John Doe at gmail.com password one two. We are on the profile page. And now if we go to the profile login page, so forward slash auth forward slash login, then we should be redirected back here like this. And if we go to the forward slash auth forward slash register, then we should be redirected back again like this. So we see that those routes are not accessible. So this is how we manage our routes and authorize our routes depending on the status of the user. And now as we see that currently we are logged in inside our application. And now if we restart our server, so let's simply save our uh, application and the server restarted. And now if we try to go to this profile page, we see that we are redirected back to the login page because our session was only stored in the inside the memory. And as soon as the server restarted, our session is lost. So let's see that how do we persist the session. So for that, it is very simple to do. So let's go to the express session website or the NPM package site. And here if we search for a store, then we see that we have some compatible session stores here. So if we click on this thing here, so let me close this thing and let me go to the compatible stores and it should be at the very bottom here. So here we see that these are some compatible session stores which we can, we can use with this express session package. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to use this connect Mongo package, though you can use this connect Redis also in case if you are using Redis inside your application, but I'm going to use uh, go with this connect Mongo package. So now we need to install this package firstly. So let me copy it from here and let's go to our application. Let's stop the application. Uh, let's stop it. And now let me do npm i connect mongo to install it. And now let's go at the very top of our app.js file. So now here inside our app.js file, what we'll do, we'll require that package that is const connect mongo equal to require connect mongo like this. And just before initializing the session, what we'll do, we'll create a Mongo store. So we'll say const Mongo store equal to connect Mongo. And here we'll pass in the session here. And now we can use this Mongo store inside our session here. So what we can say, we can provide in a property here for the session that is the store. And here we'll simply say new Mongo store like this. And here we need to pass in a couple of options and that is the connection for our MongoDB. And since we are using Mongoose, so we can simply provide in a property called Mongo Mongoose connection. So Mongoose connection. And here we can simply say Mongoose dot connection like this. And that's all what we need to do to persist our sessions inside our MongoDB database. So now if we save our this application and if we run our application again by doing npm run dev like this, and if we go to our application here, and if we try to log in, John Do at gmail.com password12, we see that now we are logged in inside our application. And now let's go back and let's try to restart our server. So let me simply press save here. And we see that our server restarted. So let's start it once more. So now let's go back. So the last time when we saw this page here, we were redirected, redirected back to the login page. But this time, if we click on the profile page, we see that our session persisted because we are storing the session inside MongoDB. So let's go to the home. We are seeing that we are logged in. So this is how we persist sessions. And if we click on logout, we are logged out. So let's log in once again. And it is for a reason why I'm doing so. So John Doe at gmail.com password one two. And now let's open our MongoDB database here. And we'll see that we are inside this database because we are using this database here that is RBAC tutorials. And here we have a couple of users. And now we see one more collection here and that is the sessions collection here. 
So we see that uh, this is the session which we are going, which we are storing inside our MongoDB to keep the user login after server reboots. And here we can also see what all is stored inside our session here. So guys, that's all about this video. So if you have liked the video, do hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do subscribe to the channel. So Tata, bye bye and have a good day and have a great day.